looking to delete your sitemap well i'm going to show you the steps you should take to delete it from the google search console but why should you delete the sitemap i'm going to tell you that later in this video step number one head over to google search console once you're there ensure that you've selected the right site for which you want to delete the sitemap once you've done that i want you to head over to the indexing tab and click on sitemaps now this page will show all sitemaps that have been submitted to the google search console identify the sitemap that you want to get rid of and once you're you've clicked on that page right in the corner you'll see three buttons which have more options you simply click on it and click remove sitemap it'll ask you for a confirmation and once you click remove Google's going to go ahead and remove that sitemap from the search console. And now you might be wondering, why would one go ahead and delete a sitemap? After all, a sitemap is essential for search engines to crawl your website very, very efficiently. So I'm going to tell you the reasons now. As a publisher, if you've deleted a couple of URLs from your website, the old sitemap will cause Google search console to show up 404 errors because these links are visible in your sitemap, but not on your page when the Google crawler visits it. As a result, you will need to delete the sitemap and upload a fresh one without the links that cause a 404. Another reason that comes to mind is if you have deleted sections of your website. Say for example, if you're covering news, sports, travel, and you plan on shutting travel as a vertical down entirely. Your old sitemap will still have links to travel and that will cause the Google crawler to go and search for them, returning a 404 error. Not only that, you're also wasting Google's crawl budget here. So it becomes essential for you to redirect them to the right links. And as a result, deleting the old sitemap, uploading a new one is the best way forward. If you've restructured your website, changed a couple of URLs, the navigation part as well, that's when changing the sitemap becomes crucial. Because if you don't do that, the Google crawler will still use the old sitemap and the old hierarchy, the old link structure to try and look for pages. It's not gonna find it and it's gonna throw a bunch of errors. The bigger problem is that Google won't be able to index the right kind of pages for the keywords you're targeting. As a result, you can lose out on organic traffic heavily. So if you're restructuring your site, you should consider deleting your old sitemap and uploading a fresh new one. And finally, one other reason that also comes to mind is say if you've migrated from a static sitemap to a dynamic one, Say a dynamic one automatically adds new links that you create to the sitemap itself. So the older sitemap is not going to be all that relevant. As a result, you can simply chuck it off and have the dynamic one online only. Now, as a website owner, if you also have multiple sitemaps, say you have a sitemap for each section or each category that you cover, and you've moved to a single sitemap that covers everything, Having the older sitemaps will cause the Google crawler to update all of it using a lot of its resources. So a wiser move would be to only have the consolidated sitemap on Google Search Console and deleting the rest. Now a dynamic sitemap automatically adds new posts and new pages to the sitemap list. As a result, Google can crawl it efficiently and as it's going about. So the older static sitemap, well, it does not have any use being there, does it? So you can simply go ahead and delete it. And that's how you can eliminate an older sitemap from Google Search Console.